Welcome back to The Comedy Show. We tell like it is and we don't care how you feel. And breaking news, Kalen DeBoer is going to be the new head coach of Alabama. He's trading in his Husky for an elephant. He's trading in his Husky for a Roll Tide or whatever the hell a Roll Tide is. No one knows. But after Dan Landing came out and said that he didn't want the job, he's staying at Oregon, I thought that this was Alabama's go-to guy. I thought that if it wasn't going to be Dan Landing, this was the guy they were probably going to pursue. And it's hard to say currently right now if this is a good hire or not. There's no way to know. No matter who it is or what university they're going to, it's really tough to say if it's a good hire. You can think it's a great hire or you can think it's a poor hire. Let's give it three to four years down the line before we make that decision on whether this was a good hire or a bad hire. But in my personal opinion, I think it was a good hire. The guy has clearly proven himself as a head coach out there at Washington. And two years as their head coach, he went 25-3. and three. In year two, he had his team competing for a national championship, and that cannot be stated enough. In year two, he had his team competing for a national championship. Yes, he did have a generational quarterback and a star-studded receiving group, but they were still competing for a national championship in year two. And throughout his entire um, coaching career, he's something like 104-12. and 12. So the guy's got a winning mentality, a winning mindset, a winning culture, clearly. He started out his coaching his coaching career out there at Suey Falls as the offensive coordinator from 2002 to 2004. And then in 2005, he took over as their head coach, and he was their head coach from 2005 to 2009. And after 2009, he bounced around to a, a bunch of different universities and different schools as the offensive coordinator and quarterback coach. Uh, he coached for Southern Illinois, Eastern Michigan, Fresno State, and Indiana. And then in 2020, he took over Fresno State as the head coach until 2021. And then in 2022, until currently, he's been the head coach for Washington. And he is clearly gifted when it comes to offense. He's got an offensive mind, and he knows his way around offense and the quarterback. And this is a huge change coming from Nick Saban. As we all know, Nick Saban was a defensive-minded guy. He's been the defensive coordinator for a bunch of different um, schools. He was even a defensive coordinator in the NFL. Alabama was a defensive-led team, and now they're going from a defensive-led coach to an offensive-led coach. So I'm curious to see that transition. But regardless, like I said, Kalen DeBoer has a winning mentality. He's got great culture built in Washington within the two years that he's been there. And he knows his way around offense. How are we feeling about this, Alabama fans? Are you excited? Are you optimistic, pessimistic? I mean, like, how are you feeling? Did you want someone different? Are you excited about this hire? Are you unsure, uneasy? Let me know what you think. I think that it's a good hire. But my one question that I have, I have a couple questions, is let's see what happens with the current class that they have. Um, let's see how many guys enter the transfer portal. We got to say, we got to be uh, uh, honest. The legend has left. A legend has left. The greatest to ever do it has left. That's going to have some ripple effects. Who enters the transfer portal from this um, current class? How does the 2005 recruit or 2025 recruiting class shake out? Um, what coordinators does Kalen DeBoer bring with him? Does he bring any? Does he keep the current ones on staff? Does he bring any players with him from Washington to Alabama? I'm curious to see what he does there. Another thing that I'm really curious about to see how well he's going to do is recruiting. Now, it is a must that you are a great recruiter, an elite recruiter in the SEC, especially at Alabama. If you cannot recruit top three, top two, number one class, the Alabama fans and administration will run your ass off. If you are finishing top 10, if you're finishing not in the top five, you're going to have to answer some very hard questions when it comes to recruiting. I went through and I looked at his past two recruiting classes for Washington while he was the head coach. In 2023, they finished um, top in number 26 in the country. And this year, they're going to finish around 36, 35 in the country. That is not going to cut it at Alabama. It's not going to cut in the SEC. Now, I will say one good thing that even though he did have some help in the transfer portal, one good thing is that even though those those two classes and in 2022, 
He finished number 95 in the country. That's really bad. But even with those recruiting rankings, he was able to get his team to a national championship. He didn't win. He'd come up just short. But he, even with those recruiting rankings and some help in the transfer portal, he was able to take the talent that he had and get it to the national championship. That is one good thing that you can take away from that. But you still have to be able to recruit because not only he's going to be going against Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs, Ohio State, Brian Kelly at LSU, Auburn, for God's sake, recruiting the state of Alabama, um, Michigan, you name, he, he's got some tough competition, especially in the SEC, Lane Kiffin at um, Ole Miss. Now, I do think that Alabama obviously has a history and a culture built in of elite talent, winning mentality. Alabama brand will recruit itself. I don't care who you throw as the head coach up there. Alabama football will recruit itself. Now, I do think that there is going to be a little bit of regression because Nick Saban left. He's the, like I said, I've stated before, he's the greatest to ever do it. 200 years down the line, we'll probably still be talking about how Nick Saban was the greatest to ever do it. There is going to be a little bit of regression um, when it comes to recruiting and what you in the in the play you see on the field. Is he able to keep up? Two years down the line, three years down the line, what are those recruiting classes looking like? Is he able to still recruit big on the trenches? Is he able to keep that defensive momentum going, recruiting on the defensive side of the ball? You can't just worry about the offense. You got to worry about the defense. Um, so that is my biggest question mark for him. Like I said, I think he's proven himself as a winner. He's proven himself as a head coach. But it takes more than that to be a head coach and the SEC, especially at the University of Alabama. Can he recruit? That's the question that he's going to have to answer moving forward. Even with that, I still think that this is a great hire. I think that they went out and they got a great guy um, who has a little bit of experience as head coaching, who has proven himself. Just when we thought that 2024 couldn't get more crazier, it is. But let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. How are you feeling about this hire? Do you like this hire? Are you, if you're a fan of Alabama, are you excited? Are you disappointed? Are you just kind of, let's wait and see, find out mentality? If you're a rival of Alabama, Georgia, Auburn, LSU, are you excited about this hire? Are you nervous about this hire? Does this hire make you scared? Like, oh crap, they got a great guy. I, on the hand, personal hand, I think it's a great hire. I think we got to give him a couple years before we really judge because you can't come out and compare him to Nick Saban. You, you, you just can't. You can't compare most anyone. To, the only person I think you can compare to Nick Saban currently right now is Kirby Smart, and he learned from Nick Saban. But Alabama fans might be in a world of um, – that might be in for a rude awakening here in the next few years. Welcome to the rest of college football. <laughs> but nonetheless, just want to get in here and make a video about that. Kalen DeBoer is a new head coach for Alabama football. How are we feeling about this? Let me know in the comments. I think it's a great hire. We'll see moving forward. I cannot wait for the start of 2024. It is going to be a chaotic, fun-filled, exciting season. Other than that, over and out.